All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So in the past, I've said, you know, an iPad can't replace a computer. Well, you know, I tried it with the first this, the, the first gen iPad uh, Pro 12.9, and I was totally disappointed. It was too bulky. It was too heavy. I bought the Logitech keyboard with it, and, you know, it just didn't work for me. I compared it to a MacBook, and it just didn't work. Well, fast forward to 2017, the MacBook Pro, these second generations, this is a 10.5 and they also have a 12.9. Uh, these are very powerful. In fact, they benchmark higher than some uh, some MacBooks, uh, which is kind of crazy. I mean, the newer generation MacBooks, they get actually benchmark the same or higher. But there's some advantages to having this device over an actual MacBook or a laptop. Now, if you're gonna do this combination, I recommend that you try to get the LTE model. I'm not gonna say it's a requirement, uh, but to make you fully mobile, um, because, you know, most laptops don't have LTE compatibility or connectivity, uh, but the fact that it's available on an iPad, uh, it's totally, you should just go that route. It's $70 more, I believe. Uh, but that alone, having the ability to get LTE uh, and, uh, and and it's unlocked and you can use it with every carrier you want, I think that's the first huge plus over having this over a laptop. Now, the next thing is the cameras. Now, most computers don't have the best cameras well this uh these new ipads have this is a seven megapixel uh, uh camera on the front and it's totally doable for front-facing video i've used it for uh, live streams i've used this setup right here for live streams a number of times i can't tell you i just plug up an external mic and you guys say whoa you know okay all right wow that looks good, Jay. I'm like, yeah, it's it's pretty much <laughs> and the iPad Pro, and you're like, no way. Sometimes I record videos with it, and you're like, nah, get out of here. So this iPad Pro has four gigs of RAM. It has the Apple A10X Fusion chip. Uh, it has a 12 megapixel on the back, and then it has a seven megapixel on the front. Uh, this thing records in 4K. Uh, it records in 1080p at 60, 720p at 60. It just it has everything a phone. Uh, it even does. It even does 720p uh, at 240 frames per second. Uh, but nonetheless, the cameras. That's another reason why I would recommend getting a keyboard and a uh, iPad Pro together. Now I don't know if I touched on the keyboard yet, but this is the Bridge keyboard. And the reason I like this particular keyboard is because it has the clickiness of a MacBook. The feel feels just like a MacBook. It has all the command keys from Apple. It has Siri. You can hit the microphone and get Siri. There's Siri. And you have your control center here. You can get to everything. Uh, it's just completely customized and optimized for uh, Apple. It's for this for Macs, I should say, Mac users. Uh, but this keyboard combination with the iPad Pro uh, is good. And this is actually on sale with the recording of this video for $119. Uh, but, okay, so cameras... A keyboard, this combination, you're already saving by buying something that, like this, uh, depending on which memory option you get, aside from a MacBook. Now, the rear camera uh, is a 12 megapixel, and the fact that it has a rear camera, that's another reason why I would recommend this combination over a laptop. Now, this video is geared towards somebody who's actually trying to decide, oh, should I get an iPad Pro or iPad or with a keyboard or a laptop? or a MacBook. This is for that person. This isn't for uh, anyone who's uh, already has the stuff and has been using it. Because you're probably going to say, well, the MacBooks are better, or you're going to say the iPads are better. So give your input if you'd like. Uh, but this is who that video is for. So you've got better cameras than a laptop. Uh, you can attach any keyboard you want, but I recommend the Bridge keyboard. This keyboard can hold a charge up to a year. And I've been using this since October, like I said, and I'm on 74%. So you get better cameras. It can be a tablet or you can have that computer feel. You get Siri. You get all the commands on this keyboard combination. And I'm not saying other keyboards don't have that, but this one, I've been using it for three months and it is totally awesome. So performance-wise, the MacBook Pros uh, benchmark really high. Uh, and the Apple iPad Pro 12.9 and 10.5 benchmark really high. I mean, 9,000 to 10,000 on the on the uh, 
multi-core score and multi-score and, and the single core is like three to five. Uh, and that's actually really, really good. I mean, it's really good. And also the resolution on this display is 16868 by 2224. That's a very high resolution. So you get a beautiful display, a beautiful display. This is actually more compact than the 12 inch MacBook as well. Uh, but if you go with the 12 inch, 12.9 inch um, iPad Pro setup, it's going to be a little bit heavier and it's more in line geared towards closer to the 13 inch MacBook, uh, you know, as far as weight and stuff like that. So this though, this this combination here, performance wise, you're getting a lot. And, and the fact that this is actually a tablet, that means if you're opened up to applications. So if I want to game on the go, I can game on the go. I can do whatever I want to do on the go. I want to shoot a full-fledged video and, and edit it. I can do it right there with iMovie. Um, now, the, the MacBooks normally have a Type-C port. This one has a Lightning port. You might say, well, Jay, that's a huge problem. Not really. Because you see these, this iDisk me? There are thumb drives that you can plug in to transfer data. There's also thumb drives that you can plug in, or there's um, adapters you can plug in uh, to have outs, like for a headphone jack. This has a headphone jack, but you can actually have extra ports uh, through the lightning uh, port there. So it's it's a huge plus uh, and advantage over a laptop or a MacBook. So now some lower end Windows laptops, obviously you can get a, a Windows laptop for 150 bucks right now with 32 gigs on board storage, but it still won't be as powerful and perform as well as a MacBook, or excuse me, a iPad Pro in this combination. You will spend a little bit more money, uh, but you'll get better performance, you get better cameras, uh, you get very long battery life on the ta the tablet itself. Even though I keep this combination set up with, I keep Bluetooth turned on, never turn it off. This is the combination that I use. Battery life is still great. It goes probably a week on a charge, uh, or let's bump it down. It goes three to five days on a charge, uh, depending on how I'm using it for that week. But it also charges pretty fast too. So um, I think this combination will be a great setup for a person who's indecisive or not, whether or not they want to get a MacBook uh, or a small laptop. Because I'm starting to believe with extended use, this thing is very useful and can actually replace a laptop. But I think the key for me was finding the right keyboard because I have a lot of keyboards and a lot of them were old. They were just okay after extended use. They were great at the beginning, but after extended use, um, they really weren't that great. So I wanted to give you guys an updated video on my iPad Pro 10.5. It's been great. I don't have any complaints about it. I've been using it in this combination uh, more than ever. And I think that this probably could replace uh, a laptop, even a MacBook, you know, cause you still get access to iOS and iOS has been doing really good. You have access to your file manager now. Uh, so this is a huge plus, you know, it's a huge plus. So uh, just a quick video to take, give you my take on, you know, why you could probably use an iPad Pro uh, over uh, with this combination over an actual laptop. So I'll leave it up to you. Uh, it's your man, Jay Will. Take care.